Hello and welcome to a tutorial on using jQuery and JavaScript to make web applications. As you can see we're going to create a simple web app here and it's going to tell us about some jokes. So you can have a answer button that you click on and it reveals the answer to a joke. And so then it hides the answer when you're done reading it and shows the next answer. And so this will be an introduction to making applications that have interactive buttons. To be successful in these lessons, you should already know some HTML and CSS. This is the next step where many people hit the wall when it comes to learning. How to make applications that are programmable. So you need to know JavaScript, or in this case we're going to also use jQuery. The second question that many people have is, should I learn to use jQuery first, or should I learn just JavaScript? Because you may know that jQuery is an add-on library to JavaScript. In my experience in teaching web applications to students, is that jQuery is easier to learn even though it is an add-on to the product of JavaScript. And so we're going to go straight to jQuery because that's where you're probably going to end up anyway if you're developing applications. jQuery just makes everything easier to program in JavaScript. Now you'll find some people on the internet that complain that jQuery is an add-on and therefore makes your applications run a little bit slower. And they have a point, but for learning and ease of use, jQuery is hard to beat. And so the applications that we develop in this series will be made in jQuery. Well, let's get started on how we build this application. First of all, I'm going to open up a blank document in my text editor. And so my text editor is uh, Sublime Text. You might be using Notepad or Brackets or Notepad++, something along those lines, but any of those will work. So the first thing we have to do is create a basic HTML page. Okay, so let's use these basic tags to get started. And when we save our document, we will automatically get some formatting options in this uh, editor. I'm going to name my application Jokes HTML. As soon as I save it as HTML, you notice that Sublime Text starts to format the text in a special color. Next, we'll start doing some HTML. So each joke on the page is going to be housed in a div, and I'll give it the class of joke. Inside each joke, I'm going to have a div for the joke question and a div for the joke answer. Now let's fill in a simple one that we can start with. So you can see I put in the pretty basic joke, uh, what, why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? And the last thing that you can see on the page that I'm going to need is a button. Okay, let's uh, save our changes, and now let's take a look and see what this looks like inside of a web browser. So I'll open it up, and you can see I have my basic joke. Now I'm just going to add one more joke here so that we can see a pattern emerge. So I'm going to copy everything and paste it, and let's call this a different question. So in my second question, I'll ask, why did the chicken cross the playground? to get to the other slide. And we will see what that looks like on the page. And you notice each joke is going to have its own answer button below. So the next thing I'd like to do is add some formatting to my page. So I'm going to start a new file and we're going to use this as my CSS file. So let's save this first. And I'm gonna call it jokes.css and I will start formatting it. So the first thing is I want to have the body format to have the font family as sans serif. So now to include this in our document, we have to add a link. So let's go into the jokes HTML and we're gonna put in a link and we're going to use the standard CSS formatting. So this is the standard format. So we should save this, refresh our page and now we have sans serif fonts everywhere on the page. Let's format some of the uh, questions and answers. So if I look back into my uh, page here, I have classes that we can use. So we have joke question and joke answer as two classes. So let's format those. So in our joke question, let's start with background color and let's do a gray. So maybe a CCC and then we'll save the changes and see what that looks like. And so now my questions all have a gray background. And let's change the text color to white save that how does that look 
Uh, I think the gray needs to be a little bit darker, so I'm going to go closer to maybe E, 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 and try that out. That's lighter. So I need a little bit darker, so I'm going to go number 333 three, three for my gray color, and there is a dark gray. Now I'd like to have the margins a little bit bigger, so let's go with padding, starting with padding, and let's go with point, uh, 0 0.7 EMs. So that's like the size of a letter, and you will notice we've got a nice pad around the outside of the words. And let's do a little bit with the margin as well. And let's make that maybe a 0 0.5 EM. How does that look? So we're spacing things out a little bit. Let's do the same thing for the answers. I'd like to have a little bit of space between the uh, bottom of the answer and the button. So let's go with 1 EM and refresh the page. There we go. Now I would like to hide the answers. So let's do the uh, display and none. And let's see what that does. So now we can't see the answers. This is where the programming is going to come in. We're going to have to click the button and show the answer. Finally, let's do some button formatting. So let's do background color gray. And let's change the size of the font. Let's go with maybe 1.5 EM. So we have buttons now. Um, I would also like to make the corners rounded. That's uh, something I like. So let's type in radius. We get border radius and let's try five pixels and see what that does. So the buttons have a slight rounded edge to them. Okay, so that's enough CSS. We've got our page formatted a little bit. Now I'd like to add some JavaScript or jQuery in this case to make these buttons hide and show the answers.